Congratulations, you did it! World's best residency application. And now it's time to hit that submit button. Hello everyone and welcome to Happy Farm Life. My name is Sierra Richard. I'm a pharmacist and a PGY1 resident who is wanting to help you get the residency of your dreams and in turn that career you've always been looking for. Before we jump in, I do want to do a little disclaimer here that the advice I'm sharing in this video is based on my own personal experience, which may be different from yours. So when you look at this advice that I'm giving you, think about it from your perspective and take the pieces that you need and leave those that you don't. Okay, with that in mind, here we go. All right, so first up is submitting your application and figuring out exactly which programs to designate. This is extremely important. If you get nothing else out of this video, this is what I want you to know, is that whatever programs you have on your list when you hit the submit button, those are the ones that go. So if you are not ready to submit something, do not add that designation to your application. Just don't do it. One thing I will note for you guys is that it might be good as you're working on your application to have them all in there because they can contact you via email if anything's changed or there's an update. However, when you are getting ready to hit the submit button, you want to remove everything other than the ones you're submitting. It's really up to you whether you do them all at once and hit one submit button and do your payment all at once. That is up to you. For me, I had deadlines that were staggered, so I did it as the deadlines came up. I would hit the submit button for that program specifically. So once you've designated your programs, what you want to do is add all of your materials to the correct place. What I recommend doing is as you're adding documents, if it's something that's going to be site specific, add the name of that hospital organization to the title so you know exactly which LOI is going to them and which supplemental materials are going to them. It is something to note, and I talk about this in the supplemental materials video if you haven't checked that out. I recommend doing so. It only gives you one option for supplemental materials, so they may require a picture and a writing assessment. You need to include that in one document because you're only going to be able to designate one document. Additionally, you want to double check, make sure all of your references are correct and turned in, that you have your CV attached and everything is designated the way it's supposed to before you click out of that application. It'll show that it's all nice and done in a neat little bubble. The biggest thing that can get missed here though is still that supplemental materials because it's not a red asterisk, it's not required. The other piece is it's going to tell you, hey, you haven't done this. But for that piece, it's not going to give you any warning. So it's very, very crucial that if you know something has supplemental materials, you double check that it is there and designated appropriately. And then that is really it for this section. The only other thing you have to do is submit your application. So it is important to note that this is where the money comes in. So if you don't have that credit card handy, I would not hit the submit button. You need it handy because they're not going to let you submit it unless you give them the money. So how much does this actually cost? Well, I'm glad you asked. I have some answers for you. So the first four programs you apply for is one straight cost. If you apply to one program, if you apply to four programs, it's going to cost you the same amount of money, which is $110. This only includes your forecast application fee. This does not include your national matching fee, which I believe is $50. So there's additional money that's going to go in. If you're in between like doing three or four programs, go ahead and do that fourth because it's going to cost you the same amount of money. And then you have that additional opportunity. Anything over that four is a price per application, which is a price of $43 which can add up very quickly if you start applying to a lot of programs. Just to give you a frame of reference, if you apply to 10 programs, you will be paying $368 in your forecast application fees alone. So when you're trying to decide how many programs you wanna apply for, there's a, several things you wanna be mindful of. First is that $43 fee for every application you do. Second is the time to do every single one of those applications. The third is how many of those can you realistically accept interviews for if you were to get one? Because I can tell you I did seven interviews and it is exhausting month, especially if you're traveling all over the country. You also have to factor in the price of each of those interviews. So no, it's very, very, very unlikely that you're going to get interviews every single place, even if you're outstanding applicant. But 
you do need to be mindful. Even if you get 50% of that, can you even do that? And are you willing to turn down some of the programs that you're applying to? Maybe that changes your mind, maybe it doesn't, but they're all good things to keep in the back of your head as you're deciding how many places to apply to. Now, once you've paid, say you have six applications you're wanting to do and you only have this one today, well, that is fine. Once you submit that one, you can do the additional three. It's not gonna make you pay for those, but you're gonna to have to do an additional charge for each one that you do after that. Once you've paid for it, your application is submitted, you've hit that submit button, you are done with that application. Any changes you make in forecasts are not gonna change that particular application. However, you can make updates as you go and finish out your applications, but whatever is sent is sent and it is not gonna change your application. So if you re-upload something with a different name, it doesn't matter, that is designated, it's gone. And that's really it. Just double check your documents, make sure everything's matching up, know how many programs you want to apply for and happy matching thank you all for watching if you liked this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button below i'm going to be doing tons more residency videos you can also check out some of my other residency prep videos in the description below if you do have any questions at all please leave them in that comments below i'm going to be checking these up until I know the deadlines go until like January 6th ish plus so I'm gonna be checking those messages every single day and responding to you to make sure that you are 100% prepared to hit that submit button good luck with your residency applications and I will see you next time bye